when your son asks you to say a few words? Of course, you're going to say yes. And then you panic. <laughs> and then you procrastinate. And then you cry. <laughs> you cry because how can you possibly do justice to this now wonderful man sitting with this equally wonderful woman ready to start the rest of their life together? <laughs> something I haven't stopped feeling since that day. I didn't know then that I had already met my soulmate. I love your humor and your carefree attitude. I fall more in love with you each morning I wake up next to you. Beautiful, baby. I love you so much. Okay. Well. Hard parts out of the way. I can see how you two honestly complete each other, and it's reassuring knowing that there's someone out there for each and every one of us that makes them feel loved in the same way that you guys love each other. When we were chatting, I did not know that the man standing in front of me in his Patagonia jacket and bean boots would quickly become the person in life that I could just simply not live without. Mackenzie, I love you with all my heart. I never thought I would find someone who made me so happy, who always has my back and who always makes me feel like the most important person in the world. I vowed to love you when this life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. So, here's to knowing my son a little bit less but becoming spectators in the next great adventure of your life. Our wish for you is that you're proud of yourself because we're extremely proud of you. And our wish for both of you is a lifetime of happiness. These are the shorts I wore when you came home from the hospital. And every once in a while, I'd threaten to wear them to her wedding, you know? <laughs> It was a joke at times. Sometimes I tried to modify behavior by saying, hey, if you don't shape up, I'm going to wear the shorts to the wedding. Well, can you? I'm wearing the shorts. always shown me what it is to be a good couple and good together and how everything works and I just thank you for being such good role models and I love you guys and welcome to the family Eric Ray. Love each other all the time. Good. The end. Do you, Mackenzie Barley Sellers, Eric Ray William Minturn, commit before your family and friends to honor the vows you have made for all the days of your life? I do. I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Eric Ray, you may kiss the bride. So I have a question for everybody. It's something I've been thinking about for two years as it relates to these two. How do you know? That's a question I ask myself all the time. How do you know? How do you know? Am I ordering the right thing on a menu? Am I buying the right car? Am I buying the right suit for my daughter's wedding? 
Should I wear the shorts or not? <laughs> you know, how do you know? We came out to see Kenzie, meet Eric Ray. We had dinner with his parents at the patio. But I looked over at Kenzie and Eric Ray and they were in their own little world talking. And I watched this for a little while, just me. You know, and then finally, I, you know, I said to Abby, look, look at the two of them. And I knew at that moment that this is where we would be. advice part be there for each other love each other no matter what and always make each other feel the way that you do on this day feel so good about what's happened here today. So welcome, Kenzie. I love you. And I know. <laughs>